Today, we're taking things up a notch with another gel dater tutorial. And trust me, this one's a game changer. We're going to create a smart crypto trading bot using Bollinger Bands. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bollinger Bands, don't worry, I'm gonna quickly brief you on it. Bollinger Bands are a technical analysis tool that shows you how volatile an asset price is. So you picture it like this. There's a middle line, which is just a moving average. And we have two outer lines, which are called bands, which are above and below that middle line. When the price touches or crosses the upper band, it usually means that the asset is overbought, which means that it's a good time to sell. And when it touches or crosses the lower band, it means that it's oversold, which is potentially a good time to buy. So why is this strategy important? Well, it helps you automatically buy low and sell high by taking advantage of market volatility. This saves you from constantly watching the markets and it helps maximize profits while reducing emotional decision making. Now, let's get started with building this bot on Gelderer. So, let's go ahead. So, we're back in app.gelderer.com. Link will be in the description. This is the dashboard. We're going to open up strategies tab and we are going to click on create strategy. Now in this, we are going to name the strategy, which is the first step that we need to do. I'm going to name it Bollinger Bands Reversal. And for the description, I'm going to give it uses Bollinger Bands to decide when to buy and sell. Now, the first step in order to create this strategy is to add a function called order count. You're going to simply drag and drop this right here. And while you have this selected, you're going to select your exchange account. You're going to select the asset that you either want to buy or you want to sell because in this, we're going to have two paths. If path A is executed, it is going to purchase a currency in this case, Bitcoin. And if path B is executed, then it is going to sell Bitcoin. So select that asset. And in this side, we're gonna go with buy and sell. In the status, we're gonna go with open and partially filled. In the time frame, we're gonna select all time. And in the condition, we want it equal to zero. This step basically helps prevent duplicate order creation. Well, there are already orders that are open and waiting to be filled. Now we are going to add a step that is called paths. When you add this, you get path A and path B. Path A will take us to, well, it depends on whether you want to choose path A or path B for buying and selling. That's really up to you. In, in my case, I'm going to go with path A, that if this path is executed, it is going to purchase Bitcoin. And for path B, if that is executed, it is going to sell Bitcoin, you know, into USDT. So first we're gonna add steps to path A and then we're, we're gonna come back to path B. Both have almost similar steps. It just have different you know, settings within those steps. So in path A, the first step that we're gonna add is asset balance. And um, in this, since we are using USDT to purchase Bitcoin, so we, make, you know, we need to make sure that we set a minimum amount so that the strategy does not execute a trade if we don't have sufficient balance. So while you have this selected, what you're going to do is select your exchange account. And in the asset, we're going to select USDT Tether. And we're going to select it greater or equal to, you can go with any amount, let's say 30. So now it's only going to buy a Bitcoin if the minimum amount of USDT in our exchange account is equal to or greater than 30. The next step is to add the Bollinger Band step. Simply drag and drop this right here. And while you have this selected, you select your exchange account, you select the asset, which in this case is BTC USDT. In the candle interval, we're going to go with five minutes. And in this, we're going to go with lower because this is a path where we want, you know, the strategy to purchase Bitcoin when the, you know, when the Bollinger Bands indicate that Bitcoin is oversold. So that is the prime time to purchase. And in the conditions, we're going to keep it to dynamic and we're going to select greater and uh, we're going to go with latest price and you just leave it to zero. And that's all you need to do. The final step here will be to buy. 
is drag and drop this. I'm going to scroll in. And while you have this selected, select your exchange account, select the asset. In this case, we're going to select best ask price. And I'm going to go with percentage of UCT and I'm going to go with 100%. Now, the path A will be executed if the minimum balance of UCT in my exchange account is equal to or greater than 30 and the Bollinger Bands indicate that the, you know, the Bitcoin is oversold. And if both conditions are true, it is going to buy Bitcoin using 100% of USDT that I have in my exchange account. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead with the path B. Again, same steps. We're going to go with assets, asset balance. And in this case, we are going to switch it to Bitcoin. And we are going to go with greater or equal to. Now, this is where you're going to select the minimum amount that you want to have in your exchange account for that trade to be executed. And the next step will be to add Bollinger Bands. And while you have this selected, select your exchange, the asset, candle interval, keep it five minutes. And in this case, we're going to go with upper, which indicate overbought conditions, which is a prime time to sell and in the conditions we're going to keep it dynamic and select the less option and select latest price and keep it to zero and the last step will be to add a sell function and when you have this selected select your exchange account select the asset in this case we're going to go with best bid price and we're going to go with 100 percent of btc and that's it this is how you set up Bollinger Bands reversal strategy is pretty straightforward. Now, once everything is clear, click on save changes. Once that is done, you're going to turn this on. This is a super popular strategy that a lot of people use, and you can see that it's really easy to create in this application. Now, you've got a fully automated trading bot that buys low and sells high using Bollinger Bands. You can sit back and relax knowing that gel data is actively working to maximize your profits and just like this i have many more tutorials coming up next so make sure that you stay tuned for those and until then take care